Turn the key and the interior is instantly filled with a cacophony of metallic noise. The flat six sounds like it's going to self-destruct at any second, spitting internals out all over the road. But no matter. Dial in 6,000 RPM, dump the clutch and hang on tight. This is no ordinary 911. Porsche builds the GT3 with one thing in mind, the racetrack. Every weekend, GT3s and their Cup RS and RSR relatives take trophies all over the world. And well-heeled track day enthusiasts really can't turn up at Silverstone with anything offering more cred than a GT3. It's an 80 grand big boys toy and how this one looks it. From the ultra-low curb-crunching front splitter, through those £3,000 lightweight race seats to the optional roll cage behind. This is the Porsche where the dashboard mounted chronograph to record every lap time really is an essential ingredient. While the 500 brake horsepower four wheel drive 911 Turbo is still the ultimate road going Porsche, the GT3 takes a harder edged approach. There's no turbo, but the 3.6 litre engine has been honed to produce a quite sensational statistic. 415 brake horsepower equates to a heading 115 brake horsepower per litre. And there's just rear-wheel drive, the true racer's choice. But despite the initial bellowing impact, the GT3 is not a highly strung temperamental performer. From low speeds, it's enormously tractable. Then from 4,000 revs, things really start to harden up. The more you dial in the throttle, the more explosive the acceleration becomes right up to the 8,400 RPM red line. The numbers say it all. 62 miles an hour in 4.3 seconds, 100 miles an hour in under 10 seconds, and a top speed of 193 miles per hour. That performance is exploitable too. Everything on the GT3 has been fine-tuned to allow you to extract the maximum. Shortened gear ratios are selected via the beautifully mechanical six-speed shifter. Porsche's optional carbon ceramic discs could stop a fully laden 747. The aero package provides downforce at speed and its trick rear spoiler helps the engine breathe deeply when it's needed. Contentiously, Porsche has fitted the active suspension from lesser 911s instead of the rock-hard track springs and dampers found in earlier GT3s. But it's a great move, softening the ride just enough to make it livable with on the road while at the touch of the button giving you a fully focused stiffer setup for the track. There's traction control too, with the limit set high enough to let you enjoy the GT3, even with limpet-like grip from the semi-slick Michelin Cup tyres. Press the sport button and this Porsche turns into a very bad boy indeed, bypassing two of the GT3's three silencers, sharpening up the throttle response and pumping up the mid-range torque. This is 911 driving in its purest form, yet Porsche has had to recognise that many buyers no longer want stripped out racers, so there's climate control as standard and sat-nav on the extensive options list. That may upset the purists, but sit them in the hip-hugging seats behind the purposeful Alcantara steering wheel and throw them the keys. So much feel, so much poise and all the performance they could ever want. Any doubts will be banished in an instant. Compared with rivals, even its 80 grand price tag seems reasonable. The 911 GT3 really is that good. As for good points, their sensational performance, the terrific chassis balance and steering feel, and the noise. As for bad points, well the front splitter grounds out too easily, there's difficulty getting into seats, and we can't afford one.